namaste everyone first and foremost i would like to thank department of physics dr sid khadiwal sir namchi government college and sikkim university for providing me such a great platform to make a video for the partial fulfillment of bsc honors on physics at fifth semester june to december 2020 I am on the right from Nachi Government College, Kamran, South Sikkim, row number 18, NS2015, and the topic is the modern theorem and logic gates. First, I'm going to start with logic gates. Logic gates are the building blocks of any digital system. It is an electronic circuit having one or more input signal and only one output. The relationship between the input and output is based on a certain logic in simple word it is an electronic circuit having one or more than one input signal but it has only one output this is known as logic gates now let us see the type of logic gates there are seven types of logic gates they are number 1 and number 2 or number 3 not number 4 nand number 5 nor number 6 x or number 7 x nor now these seven logic gates are categorized into three categories they are basic universal and other now let's see which logic gates comes under which categories here and or not comes under basic NAND and NOR comes under universal, XOR and XNOR comes under order. Here is the logical symbol of all logic gates. A and B are inputs, Y is output. Here, every logic gates have two or more than two inputs except for NOT. NOT has only one input and one output. So, here is the word universal. So what is universal gate or why NAND and NOR are called universal gate? It is because they, they means NAND and NOR, perform all the logical operation of basic gates, that is AND, OR and NOR. So this is why NAND and NOR are called universal gates. Now we will see all the logic gates one by one with the help of truth table. First we will see AND gate. An AND gate is a logic gate having two or more inputs and a single output. An AND gate operates on logical multiplication rules. We know that every logic gate has two or more than two input except NOT. So AND gate also can have two or more than two inputs. It operates on multiplication rules. Now we will see with the help of truth table. Since it operates on logical multiplication rules, so 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is also 0, 1 into 0 is also 0, and 1 into 1 is 1. Here, 0 represents low signal. And one represents high signals. Now, OR gate. It is called an OR gate because the output signals will be high only if any or all input signals are high. OR gate can also have two or more than two input signals. Uh, if we want high output signal, then either of the input should be high. Now. We will see with the help of truth table. Here, both the signals are low, so output will be low. Here, input A has low signal and input B has high signal, so output will be high. Here, input A has high signal and input B has low signal, then output will be high. In this case, both the signals. are high so output will be high now we will see not gate the not gate is a logic gate having one input and one output signal it is also called
call an inverter because if the input is high, then the output will be low. Similarly, the low results in a high output. Here, NOT gate have only one input signal. And if the input is high, then the output will be low. And if the input is low, then the output will be high. Now, let's see the truth table of NOT gate. Here in first case, input is low, so output will be high. In second case, input is high, so output will be low. Till now, we have completed three basic gates, that is AND gate, OR gate, and NOT gate. Now, we will see two universal gates, that is NAND gate and NOR gate. Now, we will see NAND gate. NAND gate. This is NOD and gate. The NAND and NOR are said to be universal gate since combination of them can be used to accomplish any of the basic operations. Now, NAND gate is a combination of NOD and AND gate. So, using NAND gate, we can accomplish any of the basic operation. Now, we will see the truth table of NAND gate. Here, both the inputs are low, so output will be high. Here, one of the input is low and one of the input is high, so output will be high. Here, one of the input is high and another is low, so the output will be high. Here, both the inputs are high, so output will be low. Now, NOR gate. This is NOR OR gate. It gives high input only when both inputs are low. So, NOR gate is the combination of NOT and OR gates. If we need high output signal, both the input signal must be low. Then only we will get high output signal. Now, we will see the truth table of NOR gate. Here, both the inputs are low, so output will be high. Here, one of the input is low and one of the input is high, so output will be low. Here also, one of the input is high and another is low, so output will be again low. Here, both the inputs are high, so output will be low. Till now, we have completed basic and universal gates. Now, we will see XOR and XNOR. Now, we will see XOR gate. XOR gate. The output of an XOR gate is high only when exactly one of its input is high. If both the inputs are high or low, then the output will be low. In XOR gate, one of the input must be high. If both the inputs are either high or low, then the output will be low. Now, we will see truth table of XOR gate. In first case, both the inputs are low. So, output will be low. In second case, one of the input is high and one of the input is low. So, output will be high. In third case, one of the input is high and another is low. So, output will be again high. In this case, both the inputs are high. So, output will be low. Now, we will see X nor gate. X nor gate. The output is high if the inputs are same. If the inputs are different, the output is low. So in XLOR gate, to obtain high output, both the input must be same. If either of the inputs are different, then output will be low. So we will see truth table. So here both the inputs are low, so output will be high. Here one of the input is high and one of the input is low, so output will be low. Here is also
also one of the input is high and another is low. So output will be again low. Here both the inputs are high. So output will be high. Now we will see advantages and disadvantages of logic gates. Advantages are number one. Logical operations are performed using Boolean algebra which makes the circuit design more economical and simple. Number two, logic one and logic zero can be easily distinguished. Disadvantages are, number one, operating voltage is limited. Number two, time delay occurs between input and output. So this is all about logic gates. Now next we will see De Morgan's theorem. Now we will see De Morgan's law. There are two laws. Number one states that the complement of a sum equals the product. That is A plus B whole complement is equal to A complement dot B complement. This is the symbol of A plus B whole complement equals to A complement dot B complement. Now we will prove this law with the help of Boolean's algebra. Now complement of A. 1, 1, 0, 0. Complement of B. 1, 0, 1, 0. Now A plus B. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is again 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. Now, A plus B whole complement. 1, 0, 0, and 0. Now, A complement dot B complement. 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, A plus B whole complement is equal to A complement dot B complement. Here it is proved that a plus B whole complement is equals to A complement dot B complement. Now, second law. It states that the complement of products equals the sum. That is, A dot B whole complement is equals to A complement plus B complement. This is the symbol of A dot B whole complement equals to A complement plus B complement. Now, we will prove this law with the help of Boolean's algebra. Here, complement of A is 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, complement of B. Complement of B is 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, A dot B. 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, A dot B whole complement. 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, A complement plus B complement. 1 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. From here, it is proved that A dot B whole complement is equals to A complement plus B complement. So, this is all about De Morgan's theorem and logic gates. Thank you. Thank you very much.